Uh, Broner, I don't know if you saw the pictures you put up. I have seen it. He's looking very skinny. I have seen it. You want me to show it to you? I have all the other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah so sure. He's looking a lot skinnier, like it, compared to how he looked before. But if he's coming down to 140, he's got to be skinny, but you know, he's in great shape. I'm pretty sure it's not. He looks skinny, like good skinny, right? Not drained or fucked up, right? There he is right there. Yeah, no, he looks in great shape. See? Maybe more. Yeah, that, you know, that's, that's skinny, but in good shape. No, no, he's ready. He's ready. Hell yeah. Yeah? That's good. Are you, so, any concern with the... So, Robert, let's say he does come in overweight. I know there's clauses in place, penalties, but is there a limit where you guys say, you know what, we're not going to be put at that much of a disadvantage? Well, well, we'll figure it out. I don't think so. There's a big penalty, and he already said it, and he says that there's no way he's going to give up so much money. So he's making weight. He's making weight. He's not making weight. As far as the, the, the fight itself, action pack, do you think? Or do we see a more tactical fight at some point? Or this will be a very tactical, tactical fight that could turn into a very exciting fight. We, uh, you know, we all know Mikey does to start uh, with a lot of action and his fight's very cautious, very careful. And, and neither does Broner, you know. Broner's also a very cautious fighter, very defensive. Good counter puncher, but Mikey doesn't come in throwing a lot of a, a lot of punches either. So it's going to be a more of a who's, who makes the first mistakes and who takes advantage of it. You know, 